think the idea that any kind of serious inquiry and lessons learned doesn't start till next year is is completely terrible. The, the families of all tens of thousands of people died who didn't need to die. There is absolutely no excuse for delaying that because a lot of the a lot of the reasons for why that happened are still in place now. Look at the whole debate about variants and whatnot. Like we have to, this has to be honestly explained. In, in February, the Prime Minister regarded this as um, just a, a scare story. He, he regarded, he d described it as the new swine flu. The second most powerful official in the country, Helen McNamara, is the Deputy Cabinet Secretary. She walked into the office while we're looking at this whiteboard. She says, I've just been talking to the official, Mark Sweeney, who is in charge of coordinating with the Department for Health. He said, quote, I've been told for years that there is a whole plan for this. There is no plan. We're in huge trouble. I've come through here to the, Helen McNamara said, I've come through here to the Prime Minister's office to tell you all, quote, I think we are absolutely f I think this country is heading for a disaster. I think we're going to kill thousands of people. I think that the Secretary of State for Health should have been fired for at least 15, 20 things, including lying to everybody in multiple occasions, in meeting after meeting in the, in the Cabinet room and publicly. There are numerous examples. I mean, in the summer, he said that everyone who needed treatment who got the treatment that they required. He knew that that was a lie because he'd been briefed by the chief scientific advisor and the chief medical officer himself about the first peak and we were told explicitly people did not get the treatment that they deserved. Many people were left to die in horrific circumstances. The truth is that senior ministers, senior officials, senior advisors like me fell disastrously short of the standards that the public has a right to expect of its government in a crisis like this. When the public needed us most, the government failed. And I'd like to say to all the families of those who, uh, who died unnecessarily how sorry I am for the mistakes that were made and for my own mistakes at that.